Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome to my channel, Life's a Project, where I like to share my everyday life projects with you. And today I just wanted to give you a seedling update. So these are my little seedlings. I've been starting seeds for the past five weeks indoors, trying to get a jump start on my spring garden. So if you have not seen videos for the past five weeks, one through five, um, I hope you will check those out and I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on any future projects. And when I get these seedlings out into the garden, in. So these seedlings, they set underneath a simple grow light setup with two clamp lights that have LED light bulbs. And I have moved these around a bit so that the taller ones are a little on the outside and the smaller seedlings are more on the inside underneath the grow light. So week one, I started these petunias on January the 31st. And you can see these are doing so well, but I actually started about eight containers and so about three of them I had to you know pull those petunias because they just was not putting on you know much growth uh, they just you know wasn't doing very well so I didn't want to waste space underneath the grow lights so I pulled them but I'm really happy with the other petunias and how they are doing on week two I started some peppers so a couple different types of peppers sweet banana peppers and cow wander peppers um, and you can see that seedling is doing so well the ones up here they are looking good and healthy but you can see the purpling of the leaves especially the first or baby leaves the true leaves do have some uh, purpling on them and usually that's a sign of you know um, a nutrient deficiency so I have been using a water soluble fertilizer so I hope that these will be okay they seem to be you know really strong despite the fact that they are a little purple. And so those I started on February the 5th. So the next week of my seed starting indoor videos, I started these marigolds and some coleus. So the marigolds, they germinate really quickly and have grown, you know, so big. I am so happy with them. I do have some here and you can see how well this one's doing. Started those February the 12th. And you can see some of these other ones. Well, that one has a really strong stem. But some of these other ones do have a little purple tinge to those, um, kind of similar to the peppers. So I will be watching that. And like I said, I have given them a water soluble fertilizer. So on February the 2nd, I also started these coleus. And you can see that they are doing well. They're getting their true leaves. You can see those have a little color to them. So really happy with how the coleus are doing. Some of my favorite ones. And there you can see the purpling of the leaves a little better. But I try not to worry about them too much. Just check on them every day and just let them grow and do their thing. So week four of seed starting indoors, I started these tomato seeds. So four different types on February the 19th. So I started the Abe Lincoln ones back here and you can see they're doing so well. They germinated so well and they seem really strong and they're getting, you know, they have their true leaves. So doing really well, really happy with those. And these beefsteak tomatoes, they're also doing really well, have their true leaves and growing really nicely. Some I still have to thin out a bit, but it's really hard to, to thin these out. You just wanna let them keep growing. This one here, the only one that germinated of this red cherry tomato, you can see here, none germinated, but I actually planted a few seeds in here on March the 4th, so a few days back, hoping that some more will come up and I'll kinda have a little backup. So on February the 27th, week five of seed starting, I started a couple different types of kale, blue vates and red Russian kale, and they are doing so well. They all germinated really nice, and they're growing nice and strong. You can see the red Russian kale has kind of a you know pink or reddish tinge to the stems. And I also started some basil. Back here, I wanted to show you really quickly, I actually did kind of dig up a couple of the pepper plants uh, because those seedlings uh, were getting kind of crowded because some of them are getting quite large so I did try to stay, save them instead of cutting them off 
at soil level and they seem to be doing pretty well so I'm just going to keep on giving them water and fertilizer and see how they do and I don't want to forget about these yellow pear tomatoes I started those when I started the other tomatoes um, plants and you can see they are doing so well I probably need to thin some of those out as well but like I said it's really hard for me to do that so back to week five when I started the kill I also started this basil Italian large leaf and you can see the little seedling coming up so a lot slower to germinate compared to the kill but I'm happy that some has germinated you can see over here another one so overall pretty happy with that and then back here on March the 2nd, I did throw in a few brandywine seeds. And I know brandywine is one word, uh, but it was just easier to write it on the tag. So these seeds came from my uh, father-in-law's tomato plant last year. He saved those seeds and gave me a few. So I planted those. So I'm hoping they will do well. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, place them down in the comment section below. And like I said before, I hope you will subscribe so you don't miss out on any future projects. I'm hoping on the next video to get outside into the garden and sow some seeds outdoors, those cool weather crops, things like peas, radishes, spinach. So it's going to be a whole lot of fun. So guys, I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.